So I read a book. What? Yeah. How dare you? I know. Okay. Anyway, it's called The Spirit of Cities. Okay, what's it about? It's about why the identity of a city matters in a global age. Okay, it, it sounds like fascinating reading. No one thought. <laughs> but tell me a little bit more about it. Okay, so the basic idea of the book is that in a global age, mm -hmm. it's really hard for a country to build an identity. It's much easier for a city to do this. A city can pass laws easier. Mm -hmm. A city can engage culture change easier on there. And so as countries become more and more the same, uh, cities should focus on this and it's a way to build diversity amongst the world Yeah, on there. Well, I've only read the prologue because uh, you wouldn't lend me your book. Um, so uh, what I took from it, from like the kind of general thesis of, right. of the book, and what I'm kind of excited to talk about in more depth here in this video is, I guess this idea that unlike your, your, your country or your province or your state that you live in, a lot of people really take pride in the cities that they live in. Right. Because that is the, that is the area that they have the most influence in, in their right. lives, but also what influences them the most. Uh, we were discussing before this video even started how you, when you look outside, it's like, yeah, I take pride in like the downtown core, or I take pride in this architecture, or this, I take pride in this park that's in my area. Whereas you can kind of distance yourself a little bit from foreign policy or wars that are happening because it's like, whatever, that's happening over there. That's not happening to me here. Whether and it's a I good can't thing or affect, bad thing. Whether it's, yeah, whether yeah. that's a good thing or a bad thing, I'm not here to say right. at this point. Uh, bad thing. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but, but, you, but you have more control, I guess, over your surroundings in your city totally. itself. That's right. And that's kind of the point that the book makes. Now, to your point, I think you just read the introduction to this book. Mm. I probably got more out of the introduction than the rest of the book on oh, there. Okay. The rest <laughs> of the book just gives examples of this theory the author is called civicism, mm -hmm. of building a city identity. And it lists eight cities, uh, giving the identity of each of those cities. And an example is Jerusalem. The, identity, the spirit of Jerusalem is religion. Uh, New York is ambition. Oxford, learning. Mm -hmm. Those are kind of the ideas on there. And one of the interesting things that it says is that in certain cities, passing laws or having certain sense of culture, which in one city wouldn't work, should work in another city. An example they gave was in Jerusalem. Um, if a shop has pictures of scantily clad women in the front doors, they passed laws to shut that down. Mm -hmm. And that was a good thing in Jerusalem because it, it actually harmed that spirit of religion that a Jerusalem has. Whereas in New York, that wouldn't make sense. Right. Just, I guess what I would fight back with that, and let's use New York as an example okay. because I love New York City. It's one of my favorite cities. Um, but there's a lot of examples you can, you can breed from there, which is I have a hard time saying that you can only fit like one word onto a city. Like, sure. like New York is all about ambition. Because sure. when I go to New York, yes, ambition is part of it, but also like arts and culture is right. part of it. There's a lot of money that gets pumped into that, right. but also inequality. Like you see so many homeless people there at mm -hmm. the same time. So yeah, you can see ambition, but you can see the dark sides of right. ambition yeah. within that city. And they do take well. a quite a bit look at that. Each of these, for example, learning in Oxford, isn't it rather split up? You have the town and gown. Is it right. equalized yeah, yeah. learning on there? So they, they do kind of go into that on there. Sure. And But I think the point being that taking pride in your city, taking um, efforts to have cultural change in your city, uh, but I'm, I'm focusing on the sense that there can be diversity uh, and there can be a, a sense that what's right for one city does is right in that sense, even though yeah. we can I think every city it. has their own, I guess, flavor, right? right. There, there, there's cities that can be even very close together or in the same state or in the same province that are very, very different right. when you go there. So you can almost feel it as you drive in. It's like this is a very different feel to sure. the city or town that, that I'm in. So we're Calgarians. Yes. I guess what we want to do is apply these principles to our city. And we encourage you in the comments to talk about your city if you're seeing that these yeah. principles applied on there. So Calgary... It's interesting because as soon as I started reading this book, I thought back to a campaign that the Calgary Public Library partners with our city to do every Libraries. year. Yes. And it's called One Book, One City. Right. The idea is that there's lots and lots of copies of a book that are put out there. As many people as they can read it. The mayor reads it. And then there's a whole bunch of events they do around the themes of that book. The first time I did this, the book was called Mavericks. Mm -hmm. And the Glenbo Museum, one of our big museums, actually put a permanent gallery called Mavericks in there. Right. Do you think Mavericks describes our city? I think it does uh, for, for a few different reasons. For good or for ill, okay. we do have that kind of maverick spirit or like yeah. can-do spirit. We're the, the spirit of the West, uh, as it says, as you kind of drive into our city. And I think whether that's kind of somewhat made up or has some mysticism sure. beyond the Cowboys, which is a kind of another American folktale. Right. Um, 
cowboys, oil men. Yeah, that kind artisans. of thing. But I think that that does pervade our city. Uh, we have. It's impossible not to see the effect that big oil has on our city. If yeah. you look at our downtown, most of the big, tall buildings down there are because of the oil companies right. that are that are that take up residence there. But because they are here, there is kind of a flip side to that. Because yeah. kind of like New York has the flip side to its ambition, sure. which is we have a thriving art community. Yeah. We have some of the best theaters in town and great opera. Best uh, theaters in town are in Calgary. That's right. It or not. Best theaters in town, <laughs> west of the Mason-Dixon line. We are the best ones. Uh, but yeah, the, the yeah. art community is great here. Yep. I was saying like There's... we have one of the largest LGBTQ communities in, right. in, 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 and that's thriving in our inner city as well. There's orchestras. There's yeah, the like, new, um, the National Music Center is about to come here. I guess Canada's National Music Center is here in Calgary. Yeah, so there's, 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 we are becoming this cultural center at the same time, and right. all of that would not be possible without Big Oil and that right. Maverick Spirit and saying, you know what? You know, you're saying that we can't do this. You're saying that, that we're, this isn't what Calgary is about, but we're going to do it anyways, gonna do and we're going to throw it in your face. Yeah. And I think that, that you see that all over That kind of FU kind of mentality yeah. on there. And there's obviously the flip side of that, too, in the sense that um, is there responsibility is there moral weight to some of this stuff that people do? There's definitely a there. large activism that happens sure. in this. Sure, yeah, thing. but I, I guess but that's I think, part of it. People can get away with things because of yeah. that maverick spirit. Right, but I think that also comes to, like, when you talk about, like, civic pride and stuff like that, there's, yes, I, I look at all those artistic outlets, and, of course, me being the <laughs> the fruity artistic guy. I really, uh, like, love that. But, I mean, our mayor is fantastic at really drumming up support for Calgary. He's yeah. a Calgary native, and he loves Calgary. And he, he's also, you know, an... He's not a white person on there. What? <laughs> it's ridiculous on there. But that, that's the kind of sense. That we have a Muslim mayor. We have a Muslim mayor. But that's, that's part of it. Yeah. I think that's that maverick attitude going on there. When you look at the mayors between us and Toronto, <laughs> and you think that Toronto is more advanced than us, then it's like, no, look at Calgary. Like, <laughs> yeah. come on. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, it's, it's an interesting theory. And I think it's important for people that are either working, creating art, doing ministry in a city, to understand what that sense of the spirit, the spirit of that city is. And what are ways that, what's good about that? And what are some of the blind sides of that? You know what this is? What's that? It's a worldview. Whoa! <laughs> we got there. We got there, folks. Yeah, so. Uh, <laughs> I was just going to say, there is a lot of social media links up on our yeah. screen here right now. We should go and follow us. No reviews this time because it's there's, no, there's yeah, no book there's reviews no that, book we, reviews. that we, we write. But I will say this. Yeah. We're going to try and put a link to the prologue of this book. Oh, yeah. Because it's, book. On, it's on Google Books. It's on Google Books. So and you that's can probably the bit that I'd recommend reading on there. The mm -hmm. rest of it, there's some interesting stuff. Go ahead and read if you want to. I probably wouldn't read that again, but I would probably come back to that prologue and just remind myself of the themes. All right. And if you belong to a city, why don't you comment about what the theme that you think that your spirit of your city is? All right. Let's All right. Go get Until reading. next time.